Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, I have a change of background. This is temporary because I'm going to be reorganizing my room to make it look more clear so that you can see what I'm doing rather than everything in the background. Um, but it won't be actually in my room. I am moving to the downstairs and I'm making that downstairs area my area. So that's exciting. So today I thought I'll go ahead with doing a very simple look. Today it's literally the hottest day of the year, 26 degrees, and I can't deal with it today. So we're gonna do a very light makeup because I feel throughout the day it's just gonna move anyways because I'm gonna be out in the sun. So yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead with this simple, very simple look. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to start with our SPF 30 Lip and Fab Cream because, like I said, very hot day, so this will protect your skin. So just get a small amount. I mean, that was a bit more than I was. And here I'll do my neck as well. Anyways, so I'm just going to give that a couple of minutes just to sit into my skin and grab my primer. Okay, so today I'm going to use the Pool Professional um, Pore Primer by Benefit. I've just got the mini sample one at the moment but it's amazing so I might be investing in that soon so I'll just grab a bit and like a little bit goes a long way as well so the small bottle should last me a little while longer um, on hot days I like to focus it on my nose especially because I feel like that part really breaks out otherwise. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe foundation and the color F2.90, that's right. Sorry, I can hear the dogs. Okay, so as I was saying, Morphe. So I'm just gonna grab a small amount don't want too much coverage, too much, well not coverage but not too thick. I'm just going to dot this around my face. Okay, I still got quite a bit left on my hand but I'm going to see how well this goes first. So I've got um, a dry beauty blender here but I'm going to be using of my all night urban decay setting spray to wet this so that it can work into the skin and hopefully it'll stay longer throughout the day. Quite smother it in there. It's with my leg. going in with concealer so I've got the uh, top shape tape in the colour 35N medium so again don't want to be using too much so I'm just gonna do a couple of dots down here Ooh, a little bit bigger. and the areas that I just want to quit brighten up Okay, so I've done these two lines here because it just gives like the effect of having like a wider draw. So I'm going to use this beauty blender now. Just going to do the same thing. Doesn't need as much because this quite absorbs well. So 
so there we go so i feel like i've got quite nice coverage for the day that i'm going to be having today which is just a nice relaxing day in the park um in the sun during lockdown apart from my little more dot here just because the side looks so much brighter than the side nope i think this eye is just generally tired more tired so usually i use a contour stick to shape the face but today we're going to get that one because it's not needed just going to sit in the garden in the park for a little while it's just gonna melt off my face honestly so to stop anything melting off my face we're gonna set it into the skin with this so to really set um all these liquids that you've used into your face is by using beauty blender have some product and we just push it in so i'm not trying to bake or anything so we don't just sit it there for too long just literally go ahead and push this all into your skin I feel like I'm quite sweat like up there for some reason. Don't know, I'm the only one, so I'm really just gonna like it into the edges of my nose and the upper lip. If you feel like you look quite cakey, don't worry because setting spray at the end will sort all this out. That's refreshing. So like on a hot day, I don't get so hungry because I don't know, just don't. So refreshing drinks like this just keep me going through the day. So next we're going with a bronzer and then contour. So this is quite, it is a bronzer, but I like to use this more as a contour because it hasn't got that like um, orange yellow undertone whereas this does so I'd like to use that as a bronzer and this is contour because it has a more of a grey grey undertone I don't like to say grey because I don't like a grey undertone but you can tell the difference that's a lot brighter that's more contoury the NYX matte bronzer to use a quite fluffy Headed brush, get quite a bit on there, and then gently circle motion it onto my face. Keep it really simple if you just keep it bronzed. But my face needs a little bit of shaping, especially around here. So we will be contouring. So for contouring, I'm using the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Bronzer in Starshine. Oh, almost dropped it. So here we go. And we like to use an angled brush for this one. Grateful. 
Grace Ball. So it's got quite a shimmer in it, so that's why I like it. Just a touch of highlight because I feel I don't want it too shiny because that looks very. Um, so get us of love, uh, triple baked highlighter. I believe this is Revolution, I think. So I went ahead and put the highlighter on, and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording the next bit. I actually did my eyes. So in between that, I set my face with. I'm going to pay all my to so I just sprayed it. Um, and then I went in with in the crease. So not I don't go I went, I went into the crease with the colour in the crease. So I just picked up some, went into the crease with it. Didn't use that brush, I this brush. So I went into the crease and then to blend that out I went for upbeat and put that just on the dirt and on my eyelid just to mix the two and then with my finger I picked up some of the colour highlight and tapped that on top and then I went in with this brush and just really blended it out so that it's not so harsh. I was just finishing off this side so I thought I'd show you. under our eyes so it's going to grab a mix of up B and in the crease just like this tap it off and keep it very close to the eye because I'm not trying to go for a smoky out under eye So I'm just going to use some of my Provoke uh, Lip Quench So it's just kind of like a Vaseline Sorry, here we go Just want to hydrate them and then finish off my eyes So we'll be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner So I think I'm just going to do a small wing So it just Press it and glide it. Small wing ended up being a big wing. So this was the small wing I was Thanks to you. and it went a bit longer so let's make that one touch a bit longer to match <sighs> let's go in with our mascara I'm going to use the MAC one love this mascara look at the difference okay there's fake lashes when you have an amazing matte mascara Look at the difference When you think I was wearing false eyelashes right? You can't even see these eyelashes Oh my gosh it's so hot in here And now for our lipstick we're going to use the MAC uh, Satin Lipstick Always finished And I'm not going to outline it Because it's a natural look There we have it. Nice 
natural makeup. So just once more, I'm going to set my face with the All Nighter Urban Decay setting spray. to just take this outside with me and just keep using it just to cool me down. So here we have our finished natural summer day look. 